Hello guys, so I will be working on this MacBook, not actually working, this is my friend's uh, MacBook and um, the screen gone blank, he told me suddenly he bought a new screen, this is the old screen here. So that's the old screen and then he bought a new screen and then he replaced himself and then even on the new screen um, there is uh, no display. So let's check it here, even if it's turning on or not. So it's just for my friend and no charge on this. So I'm like sort of bit semi-retired now. So the other people they are looking after the channel. If they need my help, I help them. So this is connected and Let's see here. I hear like sort of turn. Yeah, you you hear the shine? It's actually turning on. But I can see the Oppo logo here. Do you see? So it's actually, it's very dim. Do you see here? I don't know if you can or not, but yeah, that is backlight problem. See, it's very dim. I can see the Apple logo. Okay. So. What we have to do now, this is uh, backlight problem. So the first thing we have to find so in this situation what I usually recommend to do is not to find where the uh, backlight voltage are originating but where it's ending. Okay, I will show you here. Okay, so where is it? Yeah, J8500 here. So what we have to find out is backlight. Okay, come here and that is number 45 okay. see that's number 43 which is PPV out as so LCD backlight so we should have some voltage here which is around maybe 12 or 15 here so we most probably it's not getting any voltage here okay and these are then connected to some capacitors which is on the other side of the board and but we have got some capacitors which is on this side of the board so now I'm gonna check if we are getting any voltage on these capacitors okay so let's go back Now we will check if we have got any voltage on backlight line. Which are these caps here? Nothing. See the fans are spinning, it's on now. But we do not have any voltage. Let's connect and check if we this line is not shorted. This is most probably here. Yeah, that's ground. Yep, yeah, 25 ohms, which is on back right is not uh, correct. So these all are on the same line. So now the problem here is. Either it's one of the looks like the capacitor or it could be something else. Okay, what we can do, we can inject some volt and ampere sand and um, see if we can figure out 
the shower. If you're lucky enough, if you're some the capstone on this side or on the other side. So I think this is a good ground here. And none of these looks um, burnt. But anyway. Okay, I'm injecting 2.5 volt and 2.5 amps. Okay. Can you see here? Yeah. Yep. Do you see there? Something is hot here. But camera resolution is not good, so I can't figure out actually there are six capsters there which one of these. But I know, see if I remove it, and let's try again. No, okay. I know one of those are getting hurt, but let's check under the microscope. Maybe we can figure out which one is it, huh? Where is my tuser? Maybe I can use this one here. So it's one of these I can't figure out, you know. So which one of these? I don't want to remove one by one and all of them. So what we can do here is we can use a freeze spray, huh? To figure out which one it is. Yeah, isopropyl can help, but if the temperature is too low then sometimes you know okay hard to figure out even with isopropyl but anyway so here here and Yeah, it's that one there, <laughs> second one. Okay, let's remove it. Most probably, and yes, that's the one. Okay, let's remove it. Okay, now we will check. Is this shorted? Come on. Now, first of all, let's see if the short is there or not. No short. Yeah. Can you hear the beep? This was shorted. Okay, now the thing is if we have got backlight or not. Is it turning on? It's turning on. Yeah. So that was the problem. See, we got the backlight and uh, display. So 
so that back light line was shorted. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. See you then. Bye.